the motor there, Grant. Do you want to go now? Do you want to go now? Está algo presa nada. Oh, hey, hey, where are you going? Damn thirsty, Jones. You don't want to drink that, it'll make you sick. Here. Whoa, say something for me. Dog? Where are we going? Don't tell me you forgot already. I tried and tried, but it, it didn't do no good. But I remember about the rabbits, George. Forget about the rabbits. That's all you could ever remember is the goddamn rabbits. Listen to me, okay? And this time you gotta remember so we don't get into trouble again. All right? We're going to the rooming house, just like in Brandon. You remember being at the welfare office this morning? That nice woman was talking to us. I remember you made her laugh. Yeah, that's right. She gave us our vouchers. Uh, I think I lost mine. You never had yours. Think I'd let you carry your own voucher? What'd you pull from your pocket? There's nothing in my pocket. I know there isn't. It's in your hand. What are you hiding? Nothing. Lenny, what do you have in your hand? It's only a mouse, George. A live mouse? Just a dead mouse. Well, I, I, did, I didn't kill it, the honest. I found it dead. Hand it over. Oh, come on, George. Let me keep it. Give it to me! What do you want with a dead mouse anyway? I could have pet it while we were walking alone. You're not petting a dead mouse while you're walking with me. Now, do you remember where we're going? I forgot again. Damn it, Lenny! Come on, let's go sit down. We're going to a rooming house. And they're gonna find us a job every day we stay there. So we got a chance to make a few bucks. As long as you don't get us into trouble. So when we meet the boss, don't say a word. If he finds out what a crazy bastard you are, he won't want us. But if he sees you work before he hears you talk, we'll be fine. Got that? Yeah, yeah, that I got it. Okay. Now what are you gonna do when we meet the boss? I'm not gonna say a word. All right. Now say that over a few times. I'm not gonna say a word. I'm not gonna say a word. I'm not gonna say a word. And you're not gonna I'm do anything bad like you did in Brandon? 
Brandon. You forgot that too, did you? Well, I'm not gonna remind you in case you do it again. Oh, we got ran at the town? No, we ran. The cops were looking for us, but they didn't catch us. Oh, I remember we were on that train, I know that. That was fun. God, you're so much trouble. Well, we're gonna stay in a rooming house and work, George. All right, you got it. <sighs> Lenny, we're supposed to check in tonight, but we'll do that tomorrow. I like the spot. But I'm um, hungry, George. Round up some firewood. I want my fish with ketchup. Well, we haven't got any ketchup. Get some firewood. All right, give me that mouse. Uh, I don't got nothing. You gonna give me that mouse or not to smack you? Um, my son too small and it's out of bite. I can't wait till we get rabbits. Stop acting like a baby and get some firewood, or there won't be any supper tonight. Doesn't that look too delicious? Just like Aunt Clara, eh? What? Uh, I want my fish with ketchup? I told you a hundred times we haven't got any ketchup! Whatever we haven't got, that's what you want! I... If I was on my own... Life would be so easy. You could settle in one spot, find a job, maybe find a girlfriend. But no, I got you in tow. Always getting us into trouble. I just wanted to see the dress. I just wanted to paint it like the mouth. Well, how is she supposed to know that? What do you want? I was on the kitten, George. I, I don't want no ketchup. I wouldn't eat no ketchup, even if it was right in front of me. If we had some, you could have it. Well, but I don't, I don't want any, George. Uh, I uh, leave it all for you, and then you can spread it on your uh, your face, and I wouldn't touch none of it. I never get any peace. I think of all of the great times I could have without you, and I go nuts. 
I just... Drugs? Do you want me to go away and leave you alone? Where the hell would you go? Uh, uh, I don't know. I'll find some place in the bush. Yeah? How would you eat? I'd find things. I don't need no nice food with ketchup. And if I found a mouse, I'd keep it. And no one would take it away from me. I've been mean to you, haven't I? If you don't want me, I can go off in the bus. Away any time. Lenny, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean what I said. I want you to stay with me. The problem with mice is you always kill them. Tell you what. First chance I get, I'll get you a pup. You can pet it harder than a mouse, and maybe you won't kill it. Come on, sit down. Judge? What? Tell the story about the rapids? Tell it like it done before? You're not pulling that over me. Come on, George, just tell me. You get a real kick out of that, don't you? All right, I'll tell you. Guys like us are the loneliest guys in the world. They don't belong anywhere. They got no family, no schooling, no treaty status. They just work one day at a time and blow every cent they earn on booze, drugs, <laughs> and girls. They got nothing to look forward to. But, but not us. Because we're different. Cause I, I got you to look after me. And then you got me to look after you. That, that's why. Can okay, keep going? You know it by heart. Why don't you tell it yourself? No, no, you. I, I forget some of the things you tell me. Okay. One day, we're gonna get some cash together and just buy a little piece of land in the bush up north. We're gonna set up a trap line and hunt and fish. And then live off the land and then and then have rabbits. Go, go on, tell, tell about the rabbits, and then how I get to tend them, and then the, the winter and stove, and I can keep going. You might as well tell it yourself. Sorry, dude, it's not the same when I tell it. God, how can be quiet? Well, we'll have a trap line. We'll catch fox, muskrat, otter. We'll sell the furs. We'll hunt moose and deer and in the winter when it gets real cold we'll just keep the wood stove nice and hot just relax and in the summer we can catch trout and pickerel What are you going to tell the rooming house boss tomorrow? I'm not going to say a word. All right. Keep remembering like that. I'll let you tend the rabbits. Uh, I can remember. Look, Lenny. Look around and remember this place. The rooming house is just a few blocks over there. Just follow the river. You can remember this place, can't you? Sir, so, yes, I can remember this. I remember not saying a word, didn't I? Of course you did. And Lenny? 
if you get into trouble, like you always do, I want you to come right here. Hide in the bushes. Hide in the bushes? Hide in the bushes till I come for you. Hide in the bushes till you come for me. But you're not gonna get into trouble, are ya? Otherwise, I won't let you tend the rabbits. I'm not gonna get into trouble because I'm not gonna say a word. Okay, good. Now get your sleeping bag. What? You, you sleeping? What? Let's have different cut of rabbits. Sure. Now red. And blue. And green rabbits. So George, are you funny? Go to sleep, Lenny. Oh. Okay. George? Huh? I'm sleeping now, George. Lenny? Yeah? Shut up. Okay. Vouchers from the welfare office. Oh, those are those are for the boss, man. He was expecting guys last night. He's pissed you guys weren't here this morning for work. What's the matter, boy? It's a hell of an old dog. Yeah, and he's just getting older. You wouldn't know it by looking at him, but back in the day, he used to be able to jump ten feet for a frisbee. Well, let's head inside. You stay here, boy. <laughs> Um, you know, if you want, I can wash your sleeping bag for you. It's no problem. I'm actually doing load right now. All right. Those guys are here. Send them in. Says here you two are supposed to show up this morning. Welfare gave us the wrong directions. We got lost. Government only pays me for guys that work. What's your name? Um, George Milton. Yours? This is Lenny Small. You have treaty status? No. What about you? No. He's not treaty either. He's not much of a talker, is he? No, he's not. But he's a hell of a good worker. Strong as a ball. You playing games with me? Listen, he can do anything you tell him. Then why don't you let him answer? I'm not saying he's smart. He's not. What's your scam? What? Are you taking his pay from him? Of course not. Why would you think that? Huh, I've never seen one guy bother so much about another. What's in it for you? He's my cousin. He had a bad fall when he was a kid. I promised my aunt I'd take care of him after she died. I'm not supposed to have mentally handicapped guys here. He's not. He's just a little slow. Give us a chance, please. You know, there's not many places that will give you a free room and board and a few bucks in your pocket at the end of the day. But you gotta work every day or you're out. Understood? Yes. 
and you have to attend one of the group meetings every week. Drugs and Alcohol, Native Circle, Bible. It's all right here. Candy will show you where to put your stuff. Be ready to go after lunch. Thanks. I thought I told you to keep your mouth shut! I told you, but you said I was your cousin. Well, that was a lie. If I was a relative of yours, I'd shoot myself. Native circle. What a joke. I run that program. You should check it out sometime. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Come on, I'll show you where you're sleeping. Candy. You seen Crooks? No. If you do, tell him I need to see him. Okay. Crooks? Yeah, he's the handyman here. Decent guy. A little weird, though. How so? Well, when he's at work, he just stays downstairs in his room, in the basement. Doing what? Well, he's usually reading or on his computer. He's got a big birthmark on his face, eh? Everybody stares at him. People can be pretty stupid, man. So he just stays in his room? Well, you know, unless he can find somebody to play pool for money, then you'll see him. Hey, Ken. Yeah? You see my old man? Yeah, he's in the office. Cool. So you guys finally showed up. Where the hell you been? Got lost. Let the big guy talk. Suppose he doesn't want to talk. Bullshit. He'll speak when spoken to. What's it to you? We travel together. He can't speak for himself? He can speak if he has something to say. We, we got lost. Next time I ask you something, you answer me. What's up his ass? That's Curly. Boss is up. So why'd he get started on Lenny? He's a scrapper. Into his martial arts. I was looking for a fight. So? He's like a lot of little guys, you know? Short man complex. Always going after the big guy. Well, he better not get started on Lenny. Get his ass kicked. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's go. Curly's been worse since he got married. Went away for about a month, and uh, he came back with a wife. They live upstairs with his dad. Yeah, feel sorry for her. Curly's always taken off, leaving her alone. Never lets her leave the house, so she's always down here looking for conversation, which really makes Curly jealous. What's she like? Well, you know, she's cute, friendly, especially with Slim. Which bugs Curly big time. Who's Slim? Slim? Ah, uh, well, he's uh, one of the guys that rooms here. Crew chief for the boss. Great guy. But yeah, you can have these two beds here. These beds are clean? Yeah, they're clean. I change the sheets twice a week, and I also cook your meals. Which reminds me, I gotta get back to the kitchen. The guys will be back for lunch soon. <laughs> Meatloaf. Lenny, Curly's gonna take a shot at you first chance he gets. Uh, don't, don't let him take a shot at me, George. Don't speak to him. Don't look at him. Just stay away from him. You got that? Yeah, yeah George. Uh, George? Are, are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I'm pissed off at that Curly bastard. I was hoping we could save some cash. Don't let him suck you in. But if that son of a bitch hits you, let him have it. Uh, let them have what, George? Look, if you get into trouble, remember what I told you. You, you won't let me get to tend the rabbits? Not that. Do you remember where we slept last night? Oh, I hide, hide in the bushes until you come for me. Right. If you get in trouble. If I get in trouble. Have you guys seen Curly? 
He went to the office. Oh. So, how do you guys like the five-star hotel? It's okay. Sometimes Curly's in here. But I guess I should go find him, so... See you later. Yeah. G George, she's pretty. Don't you ever do that again! Well, what'd I do, George? Figure it out. Curly's already on your case and you're gawking at his wife? Stay away from both of them. George, I, I want to get out of here. We gotta stay. But, but, but I, don't, I don't like this place. I don't like it any more than you do. Let's go, George, please. Shut up. The guys are coming. How's it going? Good. Hey. Oh, man. What a morning. So you guys the new guys here? Yeah. Well, you'll be working with me today. You guys ever dig foundation? Yeah, I'm nothing special, but this ox can dig faster than two guys. So, are you two buddies? Yeah, we travel together. Hey, Slim. Hi. Hey. Name's Carlson. George Bilton. This is Lenny Small. Lenny Small? <laughs> he isn't small at all, is he? <laughs> yeah. Well, so, how's your dog doing, Slim? Yeah, she finally had her puppies. Oh, how many? Four of them, but one of them died. Hmm, what are you going to do with them? Well, I'm going to keep the biggest one for myself, but I don't know about the other three. You know, I was thinking, Kenny's dog is getting really old. Uh, maybe we should give him one of yours? Oh man, am I ever hungry. Yeah, you guys better come quick while there's something left to eat. Yeah, I heard him, Lenny. I'll ask him later. We'll, we'll ask him before I kiss him all the way. All right, let's go to lunch. Hey, any of you guys seen a girl around here? She came and went. Where the hell did she go? She said she was looking for you. Bastard. Come on, you must be hungry. Uh, thanks for giving Lenny one of your pups. Nah, it was nothing. Would have just ended up at the animal shelter. <sighs> you sure were right about him, though. I've never seen anyone that strong. Told you. It's strange how you two paired up. What do you mean? Well, I don't know. Smart guy like you and big dumb guy like him. We were neighbors growing up. Yeah? Whereabouts? Grand Rapids. On the reserve? No, in town. We're not treaty. Yeah. You see, there was this loony bin in our town. A real hellhole. Lenny's mom couldn't handle him, so she put him in that nut house. But Lenny started going crazy in that place. His aunt Clara could see that he was going crazy, so she got him released and took him in. Anyway, years later when she got sick, she was scared that after she died, 
Lenny would end up back in that hellhole. I promised her I'd take care of him after she passed on. I knew if we get locked up again, it'd kill him. That's cool. I used to pick on him a lot. Do anything I tell him. One time I told him to jump in a river and he nearly drowned. He didn't get mad at me for telling him to jump, but God, I was there to pull him out. Yeah, I can tell he's a nice guy. He's all he got. Mind you, he could be a little pain in the ass. How so? He gets in trouble all the time because he's so dumb. Like what just happened in Brandon. What did you do in Brandon? The dumb bastard that he is, he wants to touch everything that looks nice to him. He sees this girl in the red dress and he goes up to her and starts feeling her dress. She screams rape at the top of her lungs, which scares him, so he grabs a hold. I try pulling him off, but he's so scared he can't let go. So what happened? I finally got him let go, and we both through these back alleys. Somehow ended up in a freight yard. He was scared shitless listening to the police sirens blaring. And they didn't find you? No, somebody must have been watching over us. We were sitting between these two trains. I was trying to figure out what to do when one of them starts pulling out. We hop on it. Bye bye, Brandon. So you didn't hurt her at all? Hell no, just scared her. Lenny? Lenny? Uh, what, what, what do you want, George? I thought I told you not to bring your pup up in here. I ain't got no puppy, George. Give him to me, George, please. You take this pup back right now or I'll tell Slim not to let you have him. G give him to me, I, I'll, I'll take him back. I, I just want to pet him a little. You take that pup back right now and leave him with his mother. Or you'll kill him before you know it. Wow, it's like a child, ain't he? Yeah, he is just like a child. Oh, hey, Candy, what have you been up to? Just doing some laundry. <sighs> I'm gonna go broke playing crooks. <laughs> Hard to beat him, isn't it? For money, impossible. <laughs> Your dog stinks. Get him out of here, would you? I'm around him so much, I don't even notice. His teeth are all rotten. He's so old, he's no good to you or to himself. You should just put him out of his misery. I've had him for so long. You wouldn't know it by looking at him, but back in the day, he used to be able to- Jump 10 feet in the air and catch a frisbee? Get real. Just put him out of his misery. That costs money that I don't have. Then shoot him. Right here in the back of the head. He'll never know what hit him. I don't have a gun, and even if I did, I wouldn't do something like that. Tell you what. I'll shoot him for you. What are you, nuts? You can't have that in here. What? It's my cousin's. I'm holding it till he gets back into town. No big deal. Candy, it's cruel to keep this dog alive. I'm sure Slim will give you one of his pups. Yeah, you can have a pup if you want. You know, I hate to say it, but I think Carlson's right. I'd want someone to shoot me if I were to end up that useless. Listen, Candy, I'll take him to the boiler room. He won't feel a thing. Hey, Slim, check this out. What? Oh, dear editor, EPE's got to be the number one electronics magazine. Why'd you give me this? Read the name at the bottom. Uh, you remember Bill Tenner? Yeah, he used to house here for a few months. Yeah, that's him. Come on, Ken, you know it's the right thing to do. What'll I do with his body? I'll bury him by the river. I'll get one of the guys to help me out. Take him. Come on, boy. Uh, side view mirror, my pickup truck is broken. Crook said he'd fix it for me. I bet Lenny will be sleeping out there every night now that he's got a puppy. You know, Candy, there's still a white one left.
blackjack, anyone? Yeah, sure. What's taking him so long? Hey Slim, fix the mirror on your truck. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to put it back on there for you? No, I'll do it. Oh. All right, here. Hey, uh, your buddy keeps messing around with those puppies, eh? Uh, could you kick him out of there for me? Yeah, sure. Have you seen the chick yet? What chick? Curly's wife. Yeah, sir. Pretty hot, eh? She's okay. She's also a little on the friendly side, especially with Slim. Why, what's going on between them? Oh, nothing. They just like talking. Uh, maybe she should stay out of here. Room full of guys isn't exactly a place for her to be. <laughs> what about a stripper? What? <laughs> Tomorrow night, we're going to Teasers. Best peelers in town, man. You should come along. Me and Lenny are trying to save some cash. Oh, come on. You gotta have fun once in a while. Maybe I'll come for a few beers. Really in yet? No, so what's up his ass? He's looking for his damn wife again. He spends half the time looking for her, and the other half she's looking for him. No kidding. <laughs> hey, any of you guys see my wife? Hasn't been here. Where the hell is Slim? Out in the garage, checking out his pickup. How long ago did he leave? Don't know. Five minutes? Okay. Hey man, I want to check this out. Curly must want to scrap bad if he's going after Slim. Yeah. Curly's got a black belt, but nobody knows what Slim can do. You think Slim's with his wife? Uh-huh. But Curly's such an idiot. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Uh, I'm staying here. What's on your mind? I, I didn't do nothing, George. Honest. This Slim said I shouldn't pet the pup so much, so I came right up. I've been good, George. Come sit over here. What do you want, George? Did you see the girl in there? Did she come in the garage? No, I did, I did not see her. Guess the guys won't see a fight. If there is any fight in Lenny, you stay out of it, you hear me? I don't want no fights. George, why are both sides the same? I don't know. It's the way they make them. What was Slim doing? Slim? You saw him in the garage. He told you not to pet the puppies? Oh yeah, he had some tools. You sure that girl didn't come in? Nope. She never. George? What? Uh, how long till we get the rabbits? I don't know. We'll have to get some cash together. I don't know a place we can get for cheap, but they're not giving it away. Tell about that place, George. Uh, well, it's only a couple acres. But it's right next to some crown land, so it'll be easy to get a permit to set up our own trap line. It's in a great spot, Lenny. We could trap all kinds of animals. The hunting and fishing are good too. And, and, and tell her about how I'll tend the rabbits. Well, you're gonna have to keep the hutches clean and feed them lots of vegetables and grains. And every six weeks or so, they'll have a litter. So we'll have enough rabbits to sell and eat if we want. And tell about the house and, and when, when it's really cold outside. It's a decent little shack with a big stove so we can keep real warm in the winter. It'd be our place, Lenny. No more sleeping and rooming houses. No more panhandling or lining up at soup kitchens. It'd be our home. You guys 
know where there's a place like that? What's it to you? I don't want to know where it is. I was just wondering how much it's going for. They're asking for 6000 The old lady that owns it needs to take her husband to the States for an operation. What do you care? I was raised on the land, taught a lot of the traditional ways, but I lost all that when I started drinking. By the time I woke up, it's too late. I was awful sick. Now I'm stuck here. What's wrong with you? My eyesight's going. My kidneys are failing. I've got diabetes. My cousin's got diabetes. That can be treated. Yeah, well, mine never was. That sucks. Anyways, what's your point? Well, I've got about 4,000, you know, from my disability. You know, I'm expecting about another 500 at the end of the month. Tell you what. Suppose I went in with you guys. That's four and a half grand I put in. We're going to do this ourselves. Well, I'll make a will, you know, for, for when I die. Do you guys got any money? You know, maybe we can do this now. We only got about 100. But if we work all month and spend nothing, we'll have about 1,000. We'll need cash for supplies. Cables, snares, knives. We could probably get it for 5000 They seem desperate for the cash. We probably could swing it. Sooner or later, I'm going to go blind. But I'll always be able to cook and do dishes. They said my dog wasn't good to no one. No good to himself. When I get that old, I bet you I'm going to be asking them to shoot me. You know when I go? I want to be on the land. You know, I want to be home. We're going to do it. We're going to live there and make this happen. If we don't spend anything, in one month, it'll be ours. I'll phone them and make a deal. We're going to have to send them a down payment or something. I could give you money for that. Do they got a big stove there? A nice big wood burner stove. Great for cooking. And it'll keep us nice and toasty. You gotta keep quiet about this, okay? Don't tell anybody. Lenny? Uh, uh, don't, don't, don't tell nobody. I never should have let him shoot my dog. I should have done it myself. Listen, Slim, I'm telling you, I didn't mean nothing, all right? Okay, well, you gotta quit asking. I'm getting sick of it. If you can't take care of your own wife, don't expect other people to do it, all right? Lay off. Listen, I didn't mean nothing. I just thought you might have seen her. That's all. The only reason she comes down here is because she's so bored. Why don't you just spend some time with her? Why don't you mind your own business? Unless you want to step outside. You punk. You try to scare Slim, but he's got you shaking. You're just full of it. I don't care if you got don't one black belt and ten. Don't, don't come after nobody. me. I'll kick don't your ass. Don't Why don't you just go back upstairs? What the hell are you laughing at? Come on, get on your feet. No big son of a bitch is gonna laugh at me. Now get up! Make him stop. Make him leave me alone, George. Make him stop. Make him stop. Don't let him hit you, lady. Get him! Hey? Make him leave me alone. Hey? What you got? Make Come on, buddy. Stop. Come on. Make him stop, George. Don't let him hit you, lady. Don't have a little shit. Hold on a minute. Right. Lady, get him! Make him leave me alone. I said get him! <laughs> Ah! 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 Let go, lady! Slim, help! I said let go! Slim, help me! Let's go! You, you told me to, Dodge. Shit, guys, we need to take this guy to the hospital. His hand's completely crushed. I, 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 I didn't want to hurt him. Here, take my pickup and bring it out front, all right? Man, this is one hell of a mess. So much for saving some cash. We're done here now, aren't we? Come on up. Uh...
Hey, can you hear me? Now what I think happened was you got your hand caught in the garage door. Now we won't say a word as long as you keep your mouth shut and drop it. If not, well, it'll be muddy embarrassing if everyone found out what really happened. Got it? <sighs> Alright, Witt and Carlson will take you to the hospital. <sighs> Storage. Don't worry about it. You did good, Lenny. Um, Crooks is gonna help me with uh, Kenny's dog. And Lenny, man, it's not your fault, alright? He was asking for it. Come in here. I, I, I saw your light on. So? Door uh, just gone out and I'm just trying to stay out of trouble. Okay, well, what do you want? Uh, nothing. I'm just gonna go pet my puppy. Well, go pet your puppy. Well, the, the Slim says I shouldn't be petting him so much. Well, I'm not too surprised. I mean, that's why the mother moved him on you bothering them all the time. Yeah, she, uh, she don't care. She lets me. So everyone's gone out? Uh, except Candy. He's upstairs figuring out about the rabbits. What rabbits? What? Well, we're gonna get our own place and then I get to tend the rabbits. You're <laughs> nuts. You think I'm lying? I'm not. Okay, listen, man. Just... Come on in, man. You know what? Come here. Have a seat. Sit on this. <sighs> so then, what do you think about this mark on my face? Da, da, how did you get that? Well, when I was growing up, I had to go live with my grandmother because well, my mother couldn't cope with me. So, my grandmother, you know, she always told me that my mark was me being touched by an angel and that it made me special and beautiful. Can, can I be touched by an angel too? Can I, I'd like that. No, you wouldn't. It's a real pain. That, that, does it hurt? <laughs> it does when you realize that your grandmother was lying and when kids start calling you Frankenstein. Uh, who's Frankenstein? Forget it. I, uh, 
How, how long before I can take my puppy away from his mother? <laughs> You're a piece of work, man. Like, it's weird that you and George are friends, because he talks and you don't understand anything, but you guys are always together, you know? I got, I got thoughts and uh, he's got me and that, that's, that's how we're different. You're different, all right, man. Suppose George doesn't come back tonight. What are you gonna do? What? Well, suppose he goes out on the town and she just doesn't come back. He, he, he won't do that. I, I, I've been with George a long time. That he'll come back tonight. That, 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 don't, don't you think he will? Who knows? I mean, say something bad happens to him, and he gets hurt or he's dead. He wants to come back, but he can't. What'll happen, man? Uh, the, the George won't do that. He, he, he's careful, because he never been hurt, because he's careful. Well, I mean, suppose, though, just suppose he doesn't come back. What'll happen to you? I, 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 I don't know. I'll tell you what'll happen. They're gonna put you in a loony bin. Tie you up on a leash, like a dog. Who hurt George? Oh, take it easy, take it easy. I was just kidding, man. George is okay. George, George is all right. No, he'll be back tonight. You know, he always comes back. Right? What, what are you kidding for? Nobody's gonna kid about George being hurt. Just sit back down. George will be back tonight. He's okay, really. The George won't do that. Uh, we're gonna get our own place and I get to tend the rabbits. Hey, Crooks. Yeah? You seen Lenny? Yeah, he's down here. The, the, the town candy, how about the, the plate we're gonna get and everything? He's making up stories. No, he's not. He's telling the truth. George found us a place to buy. The, I, I told you. Actually, uh, Lenny, uh, that's why I was looking for you. What do you think of this for uh, Rabbit Hutch? I, I, I like that. Huh? What place? What are you guys talking about? It's a place up north in the bush. You know, we're gonna live up there, hunt, trap. You know? <laughs> you guys are dreaming. Where are you gonna get the cash for that? Oh, don't worry, we've already got the cash. As if George is downtown right now, pissing away any cash he has. Yeah. George doesn't have the money, it's already in the bank. Are you serious? Yeah, we've got most of it. The people that own it, uh, you know, they want to unload it, so uh, we're gonna make them an offer and should be ours by the end of the month. You know, when I was with my grandma and grandpa, me and my grandpa would go out to the bush for weeks at a time. So I have some pretty good survival skills. If if you guys want, I mean, if you guys need an extra hand, I I could definitely help out. And you guys seen Curly? <sighs> Curly's not here. I know that. Think I don't know where they went? Even Curly. I know where they are. Then why ask if we've seen them? You know, if I meet one of you guys by yourselves, you're half decent, but as soon as there's more than one of you, you treat me like the plague. What's with that? Look, why don't you just go back upstairs? We don't want any trouble. I'm not causing any trouble, I'm just talking to you guys. What's wrong with that? Look, do you actually think I enjoy being upstairs all the time, listening to King Shit brag about how he kicked some guy's ass last night? How exciting do you actually think that is? So. What really happened to Curly's hand? Uh, he got it stuck in the garage door. Come on, do you think I'm stupid? What really happened? That's what happened. Alright, fine. Don't tell me. So, it's Saturday night. Everybody's out doing something, but not me. No. I'm stuck here talking to a bunch of rejects. 
We're just asking you to leave. Hey, how'd you get that bruise on your face? Who, me? Yeah, you. He, he got his hand stuck in the garage door. Thank you. It's about time he got put in his place. See you later, garage door. I hope Curly doesn't see her coming from my room. Lenny! Curly's wife says you're down here. What's going on? Nothing. Uh, oh, hey, uh, George, I remember while well, you were out, uh, an uncle of mine used to have a trap line, and uh, I bet he's still got most of his old stuff. I thought I told you not to tell anybody. No, oh, I just told Crooks. I don't believe it. Can't go away for a minute. Come on, let's go. Hey. Yeah. You remember what I was saying about survival skills and all that? Yeah. <sighs> Forget it. I'm not interested. Um, okay. Well, good night. Eh? Yeah. Why? Why? Why you gotta get killed? You're not as little as mice. I, I didn't hit you hard. George won't let me tend the rabbits if he found out that you got killed. I tell just that I found it then. No, the judge always knows everything. Why are you gonna get killed? No, oh, get the tender rabbits. Hey, what are you doing? The Duchess, I can't talk to you. Does George give you orders about everything? The Duchess, I can't handle rabbits if I talk to you. I think George is just afraid that Curly will get mad at you. Don't worry, if he tries anything, you can just break his other hand. You have my permission to do that. I, I can't talk to you. Lenny, the guys are in the middle of a pool tournament. They're playing for money, so nobody's going to be leaving anytime soon. It's okay. See, the mom moved her puppies on you. What do you got there? It's just my puppy. He's dead. I, I just playing with it when it tried to bite me. I... I hit it on the head by accident, and then... he died. Oh, it's okay. You didn't mean to. I'm sure George will understand. Now I won't get the tender rabbits. What rabbits? Uh, Dad says I can't talk to you. Lenny, the guys are busy. No one's gonna be coming out anytime soon. It's okay. Why can't we just talk? Dad says you're nothing but trouble. Oh yeah, I'm so much trouble. And what the hell have I even done? I've done nothing since I came here, and yet everybody says I'm a problem. Well, you know, the big problem is just that Curly is just so damn jealous. You know? He was so cool when I first met him. Keep waiting for that guy to return, but he's not. 
You know, when I was a kid, I came into Winnipeg for a talent competition. The judges said I had potential. They wanted to sign me up for acting classes, but mom said we didn't have the money. Last year, I met a casting agent who said I had a face for film. He gave me his card. I've still got it. I still want to be an actress. Curly can't take that away from me. He doesn't own me. Maybe if I do my puppy outside and do him away, George wouldn't know and then I could still tend the rabbits. Don't you think of anything else? Like, what is it with you and rabbits? I just like to feel nice things with my fingers. Uh, oh, one time at this fair, they had some of them long-haired rabbits. That, that they were so soft. My mats are also soft too, but then they're just too small. You're a weird guy. Uh, no, I'm not. Dad says so. I just like to, to feel nice things with my fingers. The soft things. I understand. So do I. I like to feel silk, satin, and velvet. I, I love velvet. My auntie gave me a piece of velvet like this long. But then I lost it. <laughs> You're funny. You're like a big baby, but I like you. You know, the scarf is made of silk too. You want to feel it? Oh, okay. You, your hair looks soft too. Can I feel it? Uh, let go. Oh, that's nice. Let go, please. Okay, <laughs> let go. Let go, damn it! The, 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 please don't! No. Dogs will be better! Dogs will heal! That's better! I'm not talking to you! I done a bad thing. I done another bad thing. Judge is gonna be mad. I done the bus until he comes for me. My God, Lenny, what have you done? Lenny? But why? Where would he go? Should we call the cops? If they lock him up, he'll go insane. Right, no cops. Well, should we help him get away? He won't stand a chance. We're still gonna get that place though, right? We're still gonna do that, right, George? Not without Lenny. All the things he did, he didn't mean any harm. I know him. He didn't do this on purpose. So what should we do? 
I guess we got to tell the guys. Got to find them. Bring them in. Curly and his boys are going to go after him. You know that, right? I'll make sure they don't hurt him. Listen, Candy. They might think I was involved. So, can you wait a couple of minutes so I can get back inside? And just pretend you found her? Yeah, sure. We almost did it. We almost got our own place. Curly, come quick. It's your wife. Something bad's happened. What? She's in the garage. Hurry up. Come on. I know who did this. It's that big son of a bitch. You two wait here. I'm going to get my gun. I'm going to kill that bastard myself. Shit, can we get mine too? Well, I guess Lenny did it all right. I suppose now you'll end up at that nut house you told me about. I know. I know. My gun's gone. He must have it. Shit. All right, here's what we're gonna do. He's probably headed towards the river. So we're gonna go down to Main Street just in case. Sweep back up, all right? Come on. Andy, you better call the cops. Where do you think he is? I'm not sure. Well, we gotta find him before they do. Curly's probably right about the river. We should start at the park and move east down the riverbank. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Remember, George, not gonna leave me. I remember, George. I didn't George, I remember. I'm, I'm here, George. I, I don't. George. What the hell are you yelling about? You ain't gonna leave me, George, are you? No, of course not. Done a little bad thing. Doesn't matter, Lenny. Doesn't matter. Come on, get down here. George, tell terrible guys like us. Guys gonna be? Guys like us are the loneliest guys in the world. Got no family, no schooling, no treaty status. They work one day at a time and blow every cent they earn on booze and drugs. They got nothing to look forward to. But, but not us and why? I to tell you how, how we're different. Because I got you to look after me and you got me to look after you. And that's why. And I could keep going? Boy Lenny, isn't this a beautiful spot? Uh, it's gonna be. Okay, well, look across the river and I'll tell you so you can almost see it. Uh, okay. 
kid jets. One day, we're gonna get some cash together. We're gonna get a small house on a little piece of land up north. Set up a trap light and hunt game and... And uh, live off the land and have rapids? Oh, and now we can not do it? Soon. Real soon. Keep looking. George? Yeah? yeah? I thought you'd be mad at me. Well, I'm not. Never was. I want you to know that. Yeah, sure. We'll go there now.
again.